Hey guys, welcome back. So excited to bring you the July 2023 Not Just For Boys Kit Club kits. I have so many good things to show you, so I wanna jump right in. The very first thing I have, it's called the Journey Limitless Kit. And oh, the colors, it's, it's all such a good thing. It's such a good thing. So I'm gonna put the goodies aside and then I will show you, these are the goodies. Then I will show you what I have. Now I do have double papers because I always like to get the pattern paper kit when I can or when it's available. Because you know, you want, you want both sides. You just want them. Okay, so let's get into this. The first paper I have, oh, that's cool. Oh, it's upside down. It's from Paper Rose and it's Stay Wild A. Hmm. And this is, they're made in Australia. They're very cool. Like, it's a nice saturated, and what is it called? It's not, is it topography? What is it when it's, when they're measuring like the depths of water? That's what it is. And it's black with gray, suchy, such, such on it. And then the other side of it is absolutely amazing. I have a plan already. So we've got like that um, water depth thingy, nice branding strip, but it looks like, mountains and then you can kind of see like is it on the water like is it a reflection is it a whatever I don't know I just like it next thing we have in here is this piece here this is stay wild d and they're gorgeous paint swatchy stripes and the color palette is the bee's knees so we have that and the flip side to that oh this is cool so really nice mid-tone green with, I mean, it, it's like there's distressing like paint splatters and it looks like it's hand-drawn X's. Nice little tone-on-tone -tone branding strip. Then this is Christmas Night Basics E. So apparently we have numbers as opposed to letters and it's really, really nice powder blue with a white dot. Oh, perfect. And the flip side is a diagonal stripe. Same total color family, but it's, you know, it's balanced 50-50. Very nice. Now, this paper is so cool. It's from P13, Hit the Road number seven. And this is one that you sit there, you watch TV, you get your little fussy cutting scissors out, and you just cut out all the things because you'll be wanting to play with them when you're creating. So we've got these gorgeous trees tent we've got hiking boots really nice camera one two cameras we've got a couple guitars going on oh that's one of those little headlamp things um we have a fire pit going we've got lanterns compass camp chairs oh look at guys there's these little pieces of wood you know those directional pieces you can get your journaling put on there nice little map so super cute my point is that it's super cute and i love it Okay, the back side of that, and I'm assuming this is going to be one of those situations where this is where you get the pattern paper kit. <gasps> yep, tone on tone ferns, subtle, gorgeous, beautiful piece of paper. Yep, absolutely gorgeous background right there. All right, so this is Paper Rose again. This is called Textures 1.0, and it is the paper A. So really nice denim blue, painty, rough looking wood grain. Oh my gosh. And then this side is, not that it's a clean wood grain, but the wood grain is, is nice and wide. I think it's like the same. It is the same width, but it is all in this nice, like it's not too warm, not too cold, slightly warm, gorgeous wood grain. Oh guys, there are so many papers with this. Oh my word. Okay. So this is from Paper Rose, Little Explorer C. Oh, so it's like tone on tone, almost going ombre from like, like this deep black to navy to mid-tone blue to this light blue. And guys, there's like, there's like pattern on these different treescapes. That's very cool. And then the flip side of that, oh wow, totally different color. It's like, um, is it called crosshatch? Thatching? 
looks like a basket weaving kind of thing. The nice brown uh, branding strip, very cool. So that's bringing another tone in, cool. This is Paper Rose Stay Wild E, and we've got these constellations, super great if you have campfire photos, very cool. Love that, and, and I like that the, the blue in it, it's variegated again. They could have left it flat, but you get this variegated watercolor kind of vibe in the background. Very clever. Then, oh, here's this like topography and I'm saying it wrong again. I know somebody will tell me what I'm doing wrong, but it's tone on tone gray, and it, but it's variegated. Like there's even almost like a violet color over here. And we have this branding strip that's picking up this tone. Very cool. So then <laughs> these papers are getting um, tripped up on some sequins I have to the side. All right, so this is Paper Roses, Paper Rose, Stay Wild B. So really nice cut apart. We have got this stag head, go your own way for camping, a compass. We've got these nice badges, words, all life is better in the mountains. Very, very useful piece of paper, guys, because you have die cuts as well as like title pieces. Very cool. Then the back side of that, oh, Here's this color again, so it totally is getting brought in. Nice branding strip, but they, they're they vibing mountains to me because I know that this is such a like an outdoorsy kind of collection. And it's this really nice, rich, warm, painted kind of watercolor background. Very cool. I'm gonna have to shimmy a little bit. Sorry about the shimmy, but we wanna be able to see the stuff. This is Paper Rose Serenity Textures F. So really, really deep green, deeper color like around the outsides, brighter towards the center. Very nice, very nice. I sound like, never mind. Okay, and then this, it's nice tone on tone gray, feels distressed, feels almost like, um, I know it's like a grid, but it totally is like looking like wire to me with a nice branding strip in gray. And then the last paper we have is Little Adventure B by Paper Rose again. So cool to get so many pieces from this collection or from this company. It's an Australian company that I haven't been able to play with yet. So we've got this warm gray background and it looks like painted, almost like canvas, but then we've got the world map on it in green, which is variegated and so cool. Whew, we're gonna have fun. So much fun this month. And then the last piece, shimmying in more because, yeah, between the paper that comes in this and then the add-on kit, there was a lot. Oh, cool. So we've got a nice um, branding strip again, but a diagonal stripe with bright white on it. Oh, diagonal stripes are my favorite for matting. Okay, so we have all of that, which is a ton, right? Then we have... This right here, it is a cut file. It reads flannels and bonfires. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's got this cool font and it's flannels ampersand bonfires. How cute is that? And you know, this gray will work really well if you want to use it, you know, to make a photo or something. Okay, then, oh, ooh, this is cool. Very cool. So paper rose, it is a stencil. And it's called Wood Slice. It's a six by six stencil. Use sprays or inks, sprays, glitter, or paste to create patterns and color. So it is a wood cut. Very cool. I don't have any stencils by this company either. So that's super fun. Ooh, I want you to play with it. Okay. Then we have an Alpha from P13. Hoping you can see it. It's light blue with little polka dots. And they're called Alphabet Stickers two. So very, very pretty, useful, uppercase, lowercase, and some numbers. Then we have this. This is from P13, Hit the Road Stickers number one. And this is like a really light taupe. This is a gorgeous aqua tone. And then we're going into like a little bit of a pea green on this one. And I mean, there's different fonts. Super, super cute. Just so cute. Anyway, love the wordy bits. I always think that they help tell your story so well. So we have that. And then the last thing that I have in this kit, what is this? 
It's P13 from Hit the Road and their frames and words, ephemera. So I don't know if that's what they all look like. We're gonna open them up. Okay, oh, I think that's what they look like. Let's take a look. This is such a cute little package. It's like a little present. And I bet if I get this piece out right here, that's gonna be our best bet. Okay, so let's see what we have going on. Let's see what we go have going on. Okay, yes, so very, very cool. So that's what you get. Okay, so there's, look at how cute the little words are. So we have explore, the view, I have into the wild, timeless moments, I've got travel. I know I'm supposed to be putting them down. I'm sorry. Why don't I come in a little bit? I was getting excited. Okay. And then there is a frame and it has a little swatch on it. It looks almost like a piece of washi tape. Cute. We have pure happiness, far and away, another little frame and a bit of a mustard tone. Time for an adventure. Another frame with, once again, like that little touch on there that looks like washi. Ooh, I love this one. And this circly frame. Guys, I love this one. With a map and a fern on it. Cute. Okay, so that is the Journey Limitless Kit. I'll be right back. So I don't have the full essentials kit yet for Journey. So I wanted to show you a couple of the things that are in there. You have this gorgeous 49 and market set. It is full of so many things. I mean, there are the mothy bits. There are a bazillion frames. There's tickets, tabs, these funny little mushrooms that are so darn cute. Love, love, love how packed the 49 and market uh, die cuts are. Like I can't ever say enough about them. And then you also get this stencil and it says my favorite thing stencil. And it's like this cloud stencil. So you can do all of this layering with your inks with these clouds. You know, you can turn it different ways and all that on your page. So I cannot wait to play with it when mine comes in. It is so freaking cool that I was, I was super excited when I saw it. So let me see if there's anything else. Oh, and that 49 a market, it's the Nature Study chipboard ephemera. So those are all chipboard guys. But I do have two of the pieces. And the first thing I have is a Nouveau Expanding Mousse. So apparently you add a distress or a textured distress 3D effect using a heat tool. The color that we have is a natural cotton. And I swatched it. Let me show you. So it's this natural cotton color. It's gorgeous, but I cannot wait to play with it by adding some heat to it. I think it's going to be so fun. And then the other thing is there's these charms, y'all. All right, no waste packaging. You know that I'm always jazzed about that with not just for boys. Look at these charms. They're like enameled, enameled charms. I mean, We've got this mountain scene with a campsite. We have got two with this gorgeous like rainbowy vibe with the mountains and a river's coming down and you have a sun. And then we have two with a navy night sky, mountains and a campsite. Like, can you even? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. All right, I was so excited. I mean, the Limitless Kit is the bomb this time around. Okay, and it's always the bomb. I mean, it might be my favorite stuff. Okay, all right, let me bring in the next so one. the next kit to share with you, it is a Sizzling Summer Page Kit by Meredy Twilling. And when Meredy, these page kits with Meredy Twilling, she will do a video with full instructions and you'll get a cutting guide, which is fantastic. So it's a page kit by Meredy Twilling, but it is also a class, in my opinion. And I think that's just absolutely amazing. I do. So let's get right into the papers. Now, I do have the um, add-on paper pack because I, you know, always want the other side of the paper. So let's jump right in. We're going to have two pieces of a smooth white cardstock, which is very, very nice. And then let's start with this. This is Simple Stories Homegrown County Fair. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a patchwork quilt kind of 
feel to it. And it's like primary and tertiary colors. So really nice and vibrant. And guys, even within the little blocks, there's these cute little different patterns. I hope you can see that. That's a really cool piece of paper. Very cool. Now the back side. Right here is what I'm saying. Like, look at this nice, like saturated, gorgeous blue tone. It's like crayon blue right out of the Crayola box. And it's got this nice little print on it. A little bit of a, um, you know, like a little bit of a distressed kind of vibe to it. Absolutely gorgeous. The next piece we have, it's called Summer Lovin Yellow Gingham. So it's tone on tone yellow, a little bit of a larger gingham. And it's like this really nice sunflower color. Love that. Oh, and then the back side. Oh, it's like smaller gingham. Very cool. So yeah, whatever your vibe is, or if your vibe's both, you're good. You know, if you get the pattern paper add-on kit. And then the last piece of paper, this is from Echo Park, Good Day Sunshine. It's called Summertime. So nice wordy bits on a like true red background. Reading together, family, friends, best friends, laughter, sprinkler fun, camp out, all kinds of summer words. Oh, and then this piece has all of these icons that are so cute with the swimsuits and the floaty. Look, I mean, look at these cute swimsuits. The big old beach hat. I can totally see Meredith wearing those hats. Um, we have a pinwheel going. It's super cute. Swim trunks, the whole thing. Oh, and look at the flamingo. So that's cute. We also get this big old thing of chipboard accents from My Favorite Summer. So, you know, I mean, chipboard, you're going to get a little bit of dimension, but it's not like crazy dimension with Echo Park. We've got banner pieces and a hot air balloon. Oh, a frozen yogurt, cute little tree. Oh, we've got a couple more pinwheels and a kite, some florals, ice cream. It's so cute. Oh, and there's even these cute little tiny bits that you can put into your clusters. Look at how cute that is. It reads fun and this has a star. These have stars. Super cute. So that's part of it. Oh, we have a mixed media goodie. This is an Inklings by Shimmers Paint and it's in the color Oaky Bear Blue. And Inklings are really nice because you get like a lot of like um, shimmer to them. So what you do when you, when you wanna use it, you go ahead and spray a little bit of water in it to activate it. You guys, you'll need like 30 seconds before you use it. It's not gonna be a forever thing, but let me show you how gorgeous that color is in Oaky Bear Blue. And right there, it's still uh, wet, but you can see that gorgeous shimmer you get. Fantastic. Okay, and then we get the My Favorite Summer Frames and Tags by Echo Park. There are 33 pieces, and I can show you what they look like like this. If you want to just screenshot that and let's jump in and take a look and see what we think. Come on out. Come on, guys. Very. Okay. So, I mean, the colors are just perfect and happy and bright. Best summer ever. This is a little frame, you know, with a pop out piece. Summer, sun, fun, and so much more. Sunny days. Welcome, sweet summertime. Oh, here's that nice pinwheel and there's a little you know, a little piece you pop out, it's a tag. Oh, and then cute little tags with the pinwheels. You are my sunshine. This is a little frame bit and a gorgeous cornflower blue. And a little piece, oh, so sweet, with navy on it, that's nice. It was a perfect summer afternoon. A little tag summer is the best time of year. Sweet treats with that frozen yogurt. It could be a soft serve, what do I know? Fun in the sun. You are my favorite person. It can't get any better than this. Wishing you the best day. Oh, how cute. A nice little fishtail banner piece with pinwheels. Sunny days and a nice tangerine. Oh, a little fishtail banner piece in green. Bring on the sunshine. Oh, a cute little ice cream. Look, he's so little. We have got a frame piece in Summer Is My Favorite Time. Lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer tag. Sweet memories. Oh, and that's a pop-out too. Cute. And this bottom piece, it is 
has these little hole things, so it looks so cute when you pop them out. Look at that. Cute. Some are fun. And one more little frame, and it reads, have a happy day. So that's super cute. Now, let's see. What do I have to show you next? Okay, and the essentials kit, I don't have that yet because they were getting this stuff out to the DT super quickly. But I do have a photo that I wanted to share. Look at this, guys. So we've got these pink fresh alphas in this gorgeous green. Let's see. There's 174 pieces, and I think they're fantastic. You get the Echo Park Good Day Sunshine sticker sheet. It has banners and those cute swimsuits. Look at the little camper. I can't. A little Adirondack chair is on there. We've got a mason jar with the pinwheels. It is super cute. You also get these chipboard frames that are awesome. So there's a frame and there's a frame in the frame. And then there's embellishments. So you get a big old bang for your buck. And then with that, there are these Nouveau Jewel Drops. And I do have those. They are so pretty. They dry clear with a little bit of color. So guys, if you want to do like water droplets, I should show you how cute that is. You can totally use this. Let me show you the color. Do you see this? When you're working with it, I know that this isn't even supposed to be a class, but guys, you can do a nice size water droplet, right? You just get your water droplet down. I'm going to come in a little bit more. And this is like, I don't even know if you guys want to see me do something like this. But here we are. And go ahead and get like, I would get like a little pin or something, but you know, I couldn't get my pin out of my bottle. And then just go ahead and do it like a little drag mark through it. And you'll get the cutest little water droplet for, you know, like your water layouts. Yeah, way too much information. But here we are. And um, one of the reasons why this translucent color is so perfect. And it's, the color is called Sea Breeze. So, Something for you to know on that one. It is amazing. So let's see. Let me put my mixed media to the side. So I wanted to share that with you. All right, give me a second. So okay. this month we have another mini kit. It's called the Christmas in July mini kit. And I get to share it with you. So cute. For, and I do know there are a lot of people who are doing Christmas in July things. So... Yeah, I think you'll love it. So I have this right here. This is from Simple Stories, Make It Merry. Oh, Make It Merry, or the collections Make It Merry, very merry. And it's like a slight vanilla color. And we've got these like hand-drawn looking leafy bits with the berries, super cute. And then the flip side, oh, it's a really nice rich red gingham, so cute. And then this one right here, this is from Echo Park Dots and Stripe Deep Blue Sea Gingham. This is navy, y'all. So if you love navy in your scrapbooking, this is navy. You got to grab it. And then this side, it's tone on tone navy again. It's just that the gingham is slightly larger. Well, it's quite a bit larger. So it's a little bit more of a blown up gingham. And then, oh, guys. Let's see what this one is. This is Christmas Cheer by Cartabella. So you've got that texture that I just love. Tone on tone green. It's got like little dots that aren't all in a row. They're just kind of wonky, right? And then this side, it's this gorgeous red with the snowflakes. Oh, it's so cute. And all these different snowflakes. That's super cute. And then... We have got this sticker sheet. This is Cardabella Merry Christmas Element Stickers. There are branding strips. Oh, and look at this little swag here. We've got Santa in a cute little biplane. We've got this uh, fishtail banner with the title pieces on it. Look at this old school car. How cute is that? It looks like a taxi cab with a tree tied to the top and tons of prezzies. We've got the old fashioned light bulb. So super cute to go with that. We have this um, set of sequins. I wanna make sure you can see them all. I mean, they're so gorgeous. We've got these red snowflake pieces, the little tiny white trees, a couple tones of blue. We've got red and green. So stinking cute. I think it is gorgeous, so gorgeous. 
Oh guys, and I didn't bring up that there are two pieces of smooth white cardstock to go along with that. So you can break up the patterns a little bit with that. It's gonna be so much fun to play with. And I love this red, white, and blue kind of Christmas scheme. I think that is fantastic. I mean, how cute is that? So two sheets of smooth white cardstock to go with that. Phew, all right, let me bring you all the rest of the a la carte goodies that I have. Let's look at the cardstock cuts for July. So this reads summer, vacation, and pool. So really fantastic font. And guys, these take like distress oxides and stuff so well. So if you like to color them up, they are fun. And you get a little piece of gray cardstock, totally usable, obviously. Then this one, guys, look at it. Oh my gosh, it's a little cute camper. And the little door comes with it. You know, so you can like, you know, decorate as you wish, but, or you can, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, you can open it up. It's so cute. Okay. So the little door comes with this cute little camper. We have that. Oh, and this is so cute. Guys, look at it. I wonder if it goes that way. Look at there. It's shells and you've got a big old circle and there's these little dots there. I mean, you can really have it however you like. Super cute. Oh, and then... There's the cutest school of fish. Oh, I so have to use this. That is adorable. Okay, super cute. Love, love, love the card stock cuts. All right, we have that. Then, what to show you next? What next? Okay, I tried to do things kind of like like with like. So to start, the we have a couple of 4th of July goodies. Look at these mini rainbows and they have Glitter gold stars. I mean, it's so cute. We've got this really nice deep rich blue, the red, the white. I just love them. And these little acrylic stars, I wish they had packs of them, like 50 of them. It's so cute. And then a little bit bigger rainbows, uh, same colors. And then we have the stars and the stars are bigger. Oh, I just think that they are fantastic. And then there are two sequin mixes for the 4th of July. So look at how cute. We've got these clay pieces with, you know, kind of like this fireworks little burst. And they're red and blue. We've got light blue in here too. Let me see. Oh, and then there's like these little stars in blue and red. We've got these little circly pieces. Oh, there's stars in white too, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Look at that big one. Oh, they're so cute. Those are straight up embellishments on their own, these little clay pieces. So it is fantastic. So cute. And then the other sequin mix has, I don't know what you guys would call them. We call them bomb pops. You know, these um, freedom pops, they're called all kinds of different things. Those little popsicles that have the three colors. If you guys know what I mean, how cute is that? It is a gorgeous sequin mix. We've got tons of those little clay pieces in there. And it makes them like, I know it's a custom sequin mix, but there's something about it when they put those little clay things in that makes it like custom, custom. I don't know. It does to me. I have no idea. All right. So then these pieces, you know, kind of vibe to me like the Journey um, Limitless kit. So let's look at them. We've got, oh, I almost opened the sequin mix upside down. Yeah. So we've got this gorgeous sequin mix. There is wood grain and a nice little pea green. There's this golden yellow. I mean, look at the colors you're picking up. Light blue, some black. Ugh, so. It's, it's just so well curated how, I don't know. They're mixologists, that's the story. That's what I'm, that's what I'm sticking with, okay. And then there's these baseball caps in these gorgeous colors, like this bricky, like rusty red. This, this, ugh, look at that blue. It's Union Soldier blue, like a tan mustard and an olive one. I mean, come on, it's gorgeous. No waste packaging. We have got this amazing woodcut. Look at this wood grain woodcut. So it looks like a wood slice and there's all of these like forest critters and there are the pine trees, gorgeous no waste packaging on the flip side. Ugh. These are gonna sell out in two seconds, guys. So you're gonna just have to grab them. And then these, you get both of these in here. 
I should hold it further away because you get both of them in there. They have the mask on it so you can paint it up to your heart's content and customize it for your projects. So this one reads, explore more, worry less. And this reads, the mountains are calling and I must go. Oh, my daughter Shay and her boyfriend love the mountains. Guys, would you look at it? Look at this packaging. You've got hexes done for you. All right, it's totally all gonna match. Then, you know, the last but not least to go with our summer page kit by Meredith Twilling, we have got a cute, cute sequin mix and there are beach balls in here. So take a look at how cute. They're cute and bright and you've got that nice little sparkly shine you get with sequins for your layouts. So those are uber cute. I love the little beach balls. And now my sequins are running away. Then for acrylic pieces, these are little tabs. So we've got a seahorse, a snorkel, flip-flops, and an ice cream cone. And the pieces that come out, well, we got to have those as well. These do not come out of the machine as nice and clean, but look at, like you get an extra little seahorse and a little popsicle. Cute. Now these pieces read summer days, summer days, summer days, summer days, and these gorgeous, gorgeous bright colors. And these are the, oh, I got both color families. Sweet. So gorgeous, no waste packaging. And then finally, my cut reads summer sun and fun in this bright cherry red. Super gorgeous. Phew. So that's what I have for you guys today. I'm going to have the links down below for the website so you can grab your goodies while the goodness is good. Um, the Facebook group where, you know, the design team's in there, the subscribers are in there. You can see what everybody's doing with kits. And of course, the blog has, you know, DT stuff that's just, you know, a little bit more in depth. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. So guys, that's what I have for you today. I'm going to get creating with these goodies and I will see you guys ever. I just hurt my little sequins. I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye, guys.